There's a growing problem that needs to end because it's impacting students and young adults across the country, from middle schools to high schools to colleges and universities. One in 16 high school students admit to using anabolic steroids. The average age of first-time users is only 15 years old. Approximately 20 to 25 percent of dietary supplements are contaminated with anabolic steroids and other illegal drugs. Girls in high school are the fastest growing user group. Millions of people are being affected and their health and well-being is at serious risk. Taylor used steroids beginning in January of uh, his junior year in high school. We noticed all kind of changes going on. We didn't realize it was steroids. When we finally figured out it was steroids, it was actually a doctor, a psychiatrist, that got Taylor to admit that he had been taking steroids. Uh, and. Uh, like most doctors, they're not trained on how to deal with a steroid user. And uh, the doctor instructed him to quit cold turkey. And in hindsight, that was probably his death sentence because about six weeks, seven weeks after Taylor stopped using steroids, he committed suicide. In memory of Taylor Hooten, the Taylor Hooten Foundation was created with a mission to bring this problem into the spotlight for everyone to see clearly. We travel across the country talking to kids and their adult influencers about the serious dangers of substance abuse. From anabolic steroids and performance enhancing drugs to human growth hormones and even unregulated dietary supplements. With the help of generous donors, sponsors and supporters, our efforts have gained momentum. Our educational assembly, the Hoots Chalk Talk program, has enabled us to connect with thousands of middle school and high school students with our message. And we've spoken in front of more than 100 colleges and universities across the country. We as uh, Americans, particularly sports fans, get so focused on the latest professional athlete that, that's got caught, uh, that's been caught using uh, performance enhancing drugs and whether it's in track and field or in football or in baseball or whatever the sport, all of the media attention turns to these pros. But for every professional athlete that's using uh, these drugs, we've got thousands of kids and even today it's just very, very hard, to, been very, very difficult to raise awareness and get us as a nation to focus on this problem. Our speakers make regular appearances at youth camps and sports clinics for football, baseball, soccer, and more to educate impressionable young athletes about the risks of using performance enhancing drugs and steroids, but also teaching the ideas of integrity and self-respect. Our programs have captured the attention of Major League Baseball, who has pledged its full support, including other major organizations like the National Football League and National Hockey League. Now with the help of all 30 teams in baseball, Taylor Hooten Foundation's message has extended to stadiums and ballparks around the country. Our message can be found in official team programs throughout the year. That what's been missing is, is, a, is a focal point, somebody to take the lead in talking about this issue, raising a spotlight and putting a spotlight on this whole performance enhancing drug issue. Ultimately, our vision extends beyond raising awareness. The Taylor Hooten Foundation is committed to reaching out to kids, parents, teachers and role models alike to end the steroid epidemic for good. It's a big goal and together we can make it happen. <laughs>